five things you can't do with a Raspberry Pi 2. You've probably heard about the new upgraded Raspberry Pi 2, equipped with a quad-core CPU and boasting of being able to run Windows 10, this is the first genuine upgrade the Raspberry Pi has had since 2012. But is the Raspberry Pi 2 really all that? Has the surprise of Windows 10 somehow got in the way of the facts? Despite the hype, there are still a few things you can't do with the Raspberry Pi 2. Number one, it still won't run most software. As with earlier models like the B and the B+, the Pi 2 still isn't compatible with a huge range of software available for Linux. The reason for this is the Pi 2's ARM architecture, the CPU inside of it. While the new version might have four cores, it's still fundamentally an ARM CPU. So that means that apps compiled for x86 or x64 Intel architecture still won't run on the Pi 2. While they could with a couple of revisions, most developers don't really have time for this. There is of course still a wide range of compatible Linux software that is available. Number two, you can't photograph the Raspberry Pi 2 with a flash. Following the announcement of the Raspberry Pi 2, excitement turned into bemusement when it transpired that the device is prone to one of the most unusual bugs ever discovered. Basically, it resets in the presence of a specific frequency of bright light, such as those used in a flash. So if you're planning on snapping a picture of your Raspberry Pi 2, make sure it's powered off first as a sudden shutdown could corrupt the data on your SD card. Number three, this is not the Windows 10 you were looking for. Windows 10's compatibility with the Raspberry Pi 2 made quite a few headlines, but how accurate is it really? Well, Microsoft are keen to support the maker community, which is why they provided a Windows 10 build specifically for the Raspberry Pi, but it's nothing like the Windows 10 you would see on a desktop PC. Rather, it's an embedded OS with no graphical user interface, which is ideal for hobbyist projects like a embedded weather station or making a robot. To get started, register for the Windows IoT program at dev.windows.com. Which brings us on to number four, you can't run Office on it. Because the slimline, low-cost Raspberry Pi 2 won't actually run Windows 10, it isn't possible for corporations around the world to slash their IT budgets by replacing everything with a Raspberry Pi. But while this means no Microsoft Office, the latest version of Raspbian Linux does in fact include LibreOffice, so who cares? Number five, gaming on the Raspberry Pi, it still isn't really a thing. While one of the great uses for the Raspberry Pi is as a retro arcade gaming device, Beyond a dedicated version of Minecraft, the Pi 2 doesn't have much in the way of games, much like its predecessors. So, Raspberry Pi 2, evolution, not revolution. That said, all of these problems are more or less irrelevant, really. There's no doubt the latest Raspberry Pi 2 is just as versatile as the original, but it will continue to have its shortcomings, especially when it comes to tasks which are neither educational nor DIY oriented. What functionality or support would you like to see in the Raspberry Pi 2? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for your weekly dose of technology giveaways and tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.